but in fact at least two members of the club already knew him or knew of him, uh, I think some way back, and they had already made up their minds before the disastrous events of yesterday that was, was his name to come up before the committee, they would actually reject him. Uh, we're a private club, we can take who we like, and uh, quite clearly with two members who didn't like him, we were not going to have taken him. Uh, he did not become a member, and uh, there we are for the moment. Nothing very tangible, unfortunately, uh, just a sort of creepy feeling. Um, I think not only at the Rifle Club have we had that, but he tried to set up a youth group in Cullender, and parents there got a creepy feeling. They just didn't want to be anything to do with him, and um, in a private club uh, where we all know each other, we wouldn't have wanted anything to do with him either. I'm sure that he had delusions uh, of persecution. To some extent, of course, uh, people were suspicious of him, but he probably exaggerated this in his mind uh, so that he had uh, built up this hostile revenge scenario uh, with children being a major feature of it because uh, they were trying to keep him away from the children and he was demonstrating his potency by taking his guns down there and uh, showing what he could do to control children and perhaps get back at all the adults that had been coming between him and those children. <laughs>